guys, it's Ayana. Um, I'm trying to get um, ready for the winter season too. And all these items, except for the ones that I, I guess I directly tell you, will be posted on my art, my art fire site, and I'll put the link below. But um, here's the hat, and it is like the camera is making like a different color. But actually, it's like a dark aqua blue. And then this is brown. Then it's like a little strip of lime green. Goes into the aqua blue again, again in the brown. Okay, and it has the aqua blue flower and lime flower. And it's very, very pretty. I like the colors together. I was just playing around and came up with it. Okay, and it fits kind of snug, but not too snug. You can wear it like a beanie and make it sag in the back a little bit. Or you can wear it for like up front for like a tighter fit. I think it's so cute. I love it. I'm thinking about maybe making a scarf to go with it. Yeah, I probably would because it looks like something that like should come in a set. So I'm thinking about I might make a scarf. But it's really cute, guys. Alright. And then, right now, I'm making okay. this hat. It's just a brown little beanie hat. It still has strings attached because I'm not finished. And it has like a middle strip of green. And then I'm going to put this flower on it with a baby flower in the middle. I thought that would be cute. So let me see if I can try it on to see how it may look. Okay, this fits a little tighter. And so it's gonna be sorry with the strings. This is kinda tacky. But next time I show you, I'm trying to make sure I have everything done. So it's gonna fit like that with the flower on the side. Okay. Just trying to make some hats. So it's like chocolate and it's like a light pink. And it's gonna have the two flowers on the side. I really like flowers, if you have not noticed. Okay, and this is um, like a beret type of hat. I got the pattern off of YouTube. I forget the girl's name. And the girl gives very good instructions. They're really cute. This is like my fourth time using this pattern. I like it because it's like, see, it has like the little ruffles in it. I think it's so cute. And this is like a lavender color of yarn I'm using. The camera making it look lighter than it is. But I like to make it hang. And I don't know if I want to put a flower or I want to put some kind of embellishment on the side. I think I have a purple a lavender button I want to use with gold accents. And this is for a friend that um, she won a contest on my Facebook page. And I have been slacking and I wore this hat. So she won it. And I'm going to finish it and send it to her ASAP. But it's very, very cute. I don't want to part with it. It's really soft. The yarn I use is very, very soft. Okay, and I think this is cute because you can do this kind of different styles. But it's cute. Okay. I see the top is like netted. So you can see your fingers can go through it like a knitted type top. Okay. And that's all I have that are more complete right now. But I'm working on a circle or infinity scarf that some people call it. It's a scarf that's like one circle. It's not like, you know, loose. So you can wrap around over and over again. You can wear it kind of like a hoodie or a cowl. So I'm working on that, and if that turns out like the way I want it, I want to make a lot of those and more hats because it's getting cold and some arm warmers or hand warmers. And rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel and check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Um, it's under Phenomenal Yana, and check out my Art Fire Crochet store, and I'll put that down below. And I love you guys, and keep subbing, and have a great day.